gentlemen, today we are going to be making cake mix cookies. You can use any cake mix you would like. You can use strawberry, chocolate, um, plain like vanilla cake, but here's all that you're gonna need. All you're gonna need is one third of vegetable oil, two eggs, a cake mix, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. Um, and that is all you're gonna need. And then that's it, so really easy. So I'm making strawberry ones. So you just do the one for the strawberry cake mix in here. I'm gonna do the eggs. I'm using my boulder. Got my napkin right here. Then you're gonna have the one third vegetable oil. Then you're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. Now, if you're doing strawberry ones, you can also get some of the frozen strawberries out of the freezer section and defrost it. And you can actually put some fresh strawberries in here. And then all you're gonna do is just mix it up. <clears throat> and you can do this with the mixer. I'm actually going to, I have a, the KitchenAid mixer over there, but when it's something this small, I just don't really do it. And I think I'm gonna get a spoon and mix this now since it's kinda, let me get a spoon, a bigger one, sorry. It's not one in there, let me get out of the dishwasher. Okay, I'm gonna take it off here. Cause it's gonna be like a cookie dough. It's not gonna be like a cake mix. Cause it's totally different. So it's gonna be thicker. I'm gonna invest in me. Me and Elizabeth were talking. We're actually gonna get us a hand mixer. So that way we'll have a hand mixer. <clears throat> I just didn't want to, I didn't want to um, mix it in the, the big hand mixer and have to dirty it and clean it when it was only a small bowl. So. As you can see, it's a thick, cause it's cookie substance. So it's gonna be a thick batter. Now, is what I'm gonna do, I am gonna put it in the freezer, not the freezer, well the refrigerator, for like 30 minutes so it'll thicken up and get cold. So that way it's easier to, um, you see how thick it is. All right, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and let it harden up because I'm gonna use my scooper right here to pick them up and put them on the pan. Now, also you can, when you get ready to put them in the pan, you can roll them in powdered sugar or you can put some of the um, sugar sprinkles on there. I'm gonna do some of both so that way you'll see both of them and see how they turn out. So I'm gonna stick these in the refrigerator for 30 minutes and then we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and I've taken it out of the refrigerator so it has been sitting. I have some powdered sugar in a bowl, and then I have a little bit of um, uh, standing sugar from Christmas cookies that I made. So I'm gonna use that. So is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scoop, and put it in my hand so I can roll it. I'm gonna roll this one, and I'm gonna do it in some powdered sugar, this one in powdered sugar. And I'm gonna place it on the cookie sheet. I 
I said I'm gonna do a few of them in the powder sugar. And then I'm gonna pat them down. I'll show it to you in a minute. When it's cold and been in the refrigerator, it's easier to work with them. Now, I put them in the refrigerator, but you can actually put them in the freezer if you want to put them in the freezer. Let me turn this around sideways so you can see for a minute. All right, see where I have the cookies right here? And all I did was just put them, they kind of go down a little bit, so. I'm gonna do this one with the sprinkles. I'm gonna just do some different ways. I'm gonna put it down a little bit. I'll show it to you in just a second <laughs> on the tray, because like I said, now if they're really sticky on your hand, you can get a little flour and put in your hand. So that way it's easier to do. All right. Let me turn it around a little bit so you can see. All right, you see I have them on here. And these, I'm gonna use some of the sprinkles on these. On the plain ones so they have sprinkles on those so all I'm going to do I've got the oven preheating to 375 so all I'm going to do is just finish doing the rest of these roll them out like I said I'm going to rotate do some in the powdered sugar and some with sprinkles then you put them in the oven at 375 you put them in the oven for at least nine to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna finish doing these and put them in the oven and then I'll come back and show you what they look like. So I will be right back. Okay, I just took them out of the oven. So here are what they look like. You got the ones with the powdered sugar and the ones with the sprinkles. So I'm gonna let those cool and I'm gonna put those on a plate and then finish using the rest of the dough and cook those. And then I'll put them on a plate and then come back after, so after I get them all done and then we'll um, break one apart and uh, show it to you. So just uh, give me a few more minutes. Okay, we have finished all the cookies. So here are all the cookies. I have some that has the powdered sugar and then some has the sprinkles. This will be a good little quick and easy cookie for Valentine's Day. Um, Mama has actually already ate one of the, um, which ones you have, the powdered sugar or the sprinkle? Mm -hmm. Powdered sugar one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, she ate the powdered sugar one. So um, like I said, I'm going to, this one I just got out a while ago, so. I'm gonna move it down a little bit, but I did them for, um, this is what they look in the inside. So, oh, they're really good. Um, but see, they're still soft. I did mine for um, nine minutes first and then I checked them. And then I did it for the two more extra minutes. So I did mine for actually 11 minutes on 375. So anyway, I hope you'd enjoy, you enjoyed this little, um, little cooking video. I plan on trying to do a few more videos with cooking. Um, I have a DIY crafts video that I'm going to do for Valentine's Day. So anyway, um, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video and we will see y'all next time. Bye.